Our outdoor heritage is what defines us as individuals. If you take that thing from us, what do we become as a nation? If you allow these people to steal and privatize these things, what does that say? If you fence us off from the thing that defines us, who do we become then? Nobody else in the world has what we have here. The fact that you can see for miles at a time or hike a peak and look down into a canyon or a river system, that's beautiful. Nature is beautiful. Our natural resources are, are not for sale, and we have to uh, protect what we have. We own all these public lands. I mean, that's a special thing. You know, it's something that people take for granted, but we shouldn't. We have to really defend our public land heritage. This is an issue that's happening right now. This is a historical moment in American history. It's an urgency about it, and if people don't take heed to it now, I don't know what's going to happen. You would love to be able to believe that everybody has the best interests in mind, but the reality of it is, is that's not always the case. Where is the value in one more strip mall? Where is the value in developing every piece of the country? Where is the wildlife going to find refuge? I think it's true that this land is your land, this land is my land. That's a pretty strong statement. I think we need to stand up. I think we need to get in their face. I think we need to get loud. All Americans own public lands. And when you talk about transferring or you know, land swaps, that's when these lands become at risk. Today we're in the Black Hills National Forest, which is 1.2 million acres of ponderosa pine, aspen trees, and a diversity of habitats hosting a whole variety of critters. It's really pretty. The views are really expansive. Today we have a bluebird day, so you can really see far. What's wrong with this landscape is it's no longer intact. A significant tract of land that is adjacent to the Black Hills National Forest was swapped by the state. Visually, it's, it's pretty dramatic, the contrast. They've taken down all the trees. It looks barren. There are piles of, of debris, and it'll soon have you know lots of rocks and lots of uh, mining activity. This area was previously open to the public. It's now closed and will be forever because it's now under private ownership. If you get this stuff into state hands, it is not going to be available because the state would have the power to dispose of it. And when they get in a crunch, like all of them are, they're going to pedal it off, put it in the coffer, not thinking of what that does to the guys like you and me who know where this trail is into the fishing hole or hunting area, backpack, you know, forget it. Oh, it breaks my heart. I mean, really, this is quite serious to see such a, a large swath of land be traded so irresponsibly to a mining company. That's just going to completely change this landscape. We lost, the state of Wyoming and its citizens lost in this land exchange. And to me, it's a, it's, it, it's a point to just what the state could do if they were to gain control of public lands in other areas. And that would be about the stupidest, dumbest thing I can imagine, because it would take away the access all of us have to the joy of public land. Public lands are part of what make me an American. That idea that I own all these lands, along with millions of other Americans, is a really powerful thing. The land is our identity. Without having access to these public places, our identity becomes threatened. I feel better outside. It helps me remember what's important. I like the freedom it, it, I feel when I'm out of doors. We get to go to all these places that we all own, so that's a pretty special thing to me. 
always assure that there is public use of public lands. There's too much at risk. If these lands were to go under state control, they could so easily be traded, swapped, or sold to the highest bidder. I will be the first one to lay down in the middle of the road, and they got a fight on their hand. They could not, they should not do it. And, and as long as I'm breathing, they will not. I do get upset when I think about it because we have the same stake in those lands as everybody else. I may never see a lot of them, but I know I, that I own them. This is our legacy. This belongs to us. We all benefit from these lands. Even if you never set foot in a national forest or on another piece of public land, you're benefiting from the, the existence and the protection of those lands. If we don't have public lands, people don't have a place to hunt and fish. And that means hunting and fishing go away. Woo! When people don't have public land, They don't get outside. Our ability to look around at all of this land and know that it's ours and that we can enjoy it and that it's protected for us, that's not something we can take for granted.